Last year, Pinwheel Industries introduced a new toy. It cost $9,800 to develop the toy and $25 to manufacture each toy. We're going to use this information to first write a linear equation in the form C equals M times N plus B that gives the total cost C to produce N of these toys. Notice how there are two components to the total cost. We have the fixed cost of $9,800, which does not change regardless of how many toys are manufactured. And then we have the variable cost of $25 to manufacture each toy, which means the total cost C is equal to $25 times the number of toys manufactured, which is N, plus the fixed cost or development cost of $9,800. Notice how this equation is in sloped intercept form for the form y equals mx plus b. Where the slope represents the change in the total cost with respect to the change in the number of toys manufactured, which in this case is $25 per toy. And the vertical intercept, or b, which would be the point zero comma b, is the fixed cost, or the cost if zero toys are manufactured. Notice again, regardless of how many toys are manufactured, even if there are zero toys manufactured, the fixed cost of $9,800 will not change. Now we're asked to determine the total cost to produce 2,050 toys. So they're telling us here that N equals 2,050. We want to determine what the total cost would be. So the total cost C is equal to 25 or $25 times N, which is 2,050 plus 9,800. So this is going to be equal to 51,250 plus 9,800, which is equal to 61,050. Which means the total cost to produce 2,050 toys is $61,050. Now for our last question, we're asked to determine how many toys were produced if the total cost was 93,550. So now in this question, they're telling us the total cost equals 93,550. They want us to determine the number of toys that were produced. So now we'll substitute 93,550 for C and solve for N. So we have 93,550 equals 25N plus 9,800. So we want to subtract 9,800 on both sides. That would give us 83,750 equals, well this is zero, so we have equals 25N. So to solve for N, we divide both sides by 25. And 83,750 divided by 25 is equal to 3,350. So this tells us that if the total cost was 93,550, then 3,350 toys were produced. I hope you found this helpful.